Owner says employees are replaceable. Great replace a good chunk of your staff. So about two years ago I was working at an assistant manager at a small business. About 20 to 25 employees overall. I had been there about five and a half years. Three as an entry-level position and then as the business grew the manager was getting overwhelmed so. They created the assistant manager position and put me in it. Now I was their jack of all trades covering multiple positions in the business when needed. Built and maintained a new website. Old one had not been updated in several years. Served as the entire IT department. Got a new phone system installed along with replacing Amether major critical piece of equipment. DIY minor building updates. Inventory management. Distributor relationships and more. Well owner number one was fed up with owner number two's BS. 01 was the responsible one that knew what was going 102 was just along for the ride. And said either sell me your half or buy my half. Well 02 ended up choosing to stay. A few staff left because. Including the manager. While the rest of us braced for the disaster that was coming while we decided what to do. On to the malicious compliance. As assistant manager the staff had brought some concerns about quality and staff safety to me so I brought them to the owner. The response I got was I don't care about staff concerns they are all replaceable anyways. I was also told to tell the staff they should no longer bring their concerns to me but to the new manager. Her hire that had been there two weeks and no one trusted yet. Well I went home that night. Shared the entire conversation with most of the staff and typed up my two weeks notice. Handbook said four weeks required but I refused to work for her longer than two weeks more. And turned it in the next morning. The fallout. So in addition to losing me and everything I normally did. Had also taken over scheduling since we were short staffed and the new manager didn't know the staff. Yet and what we needed. Another three to four people quit over the next month leaving the owner overall with about 50% of the staff. That place needed and even at full staffing we were barely managing. The website has not been touched since I left. Still has the old owner and other outdated information up. I have gotten multiple questions about where something was or how to do something because no one else knows how to run certain things. A number of their clients I know have left because things have been getting worse in their product. And overall I give it a couple years before she has to sell or close because I can't imagine it is going to go well. Handbook said 4 weeks required but I refused to work for her longer than 2 weeks more. I gotta say 2 weeks for, replaceable, staff is generous. Since you were so replaceable you could have just given no notice and they'd replace you just fine. Right? When it's convenient. Execs will say. Our employees are our number one asset. Until they want to cut costs and then. I sure hope that each of those phone calls came with a hefty consultation fee. Want my knowledge. Gotta buy it from me. Well, she wasn't wrong. Employees are replaceable. What she forgot to mention is that the difficulty in replacing some employees might be very, very high. And that the business might suffer until those employees are replaced. Or the business might even fail. There is only one restaurant in my hometown that is unaffected by the current labor shortage. The place kept its entire staff on in COVID with no hours reduction and complied with CDC recommendations but the owner almost sank his ship entirely in the process before federal aid came to save him. But his staff are loyal and have stuck with him. Staff is the most valuable asset of a company. She's absolutely right. Everyone in a business is replaceable. Turns out. She was the one that needed replacing. These days if I even catch a hint of an owner or manager who thinks like that, I'm out. 
take this time to get your ducks in a row and be ready to pick up the pieces once it falls apart. Could be an easy, inexpensive way to get into business for yourself. I hope in a couple years the other owner buys it back at a fraction of the price they got paid for. Their half. Ah I hate small businesses. There is always this person, wearing multiple hats, who is responsible for holding all of the company's disorganized bullshit processes together. And they're always overworked, underappreciated, and underpaid. There should never be one person whose departure can break an entire company. I'm glad you didn't fall into the trap of feeling guilty for leaving them, high and dry, because in this market employers are the ones who are truly replaceable, not the other way around. Working for a larger company and having a well-defined role is so freeing. I highly recommend it. I live in an at-will state. At my former employer, the handbook specifically stated they have no obligation to you, but they expect two weeks notice on leaving. All but one person was told to leave immediately after turning in the resignation. On top of that, they expected us to sign a two-year non-compete contract which also states that they have zero obligation to you, but you wouldn't be able to work in a similar capacity for two years. Everyone refused to sign. Assistant to the regional manager. Keep eyes on the business. Talk about some loans. And buy the business for dirt cheap when they're in dire straits and are ready to sell. I have a friend in the same boat right now. They wanted me to buy in. I don't have the time or money to be invested in two bars right now. One is a huge pain in the ass already. HTTPS www.bbc.com slash work life slash article slash 20210915 turnover dash contagion dash the dash domino dash effect dash of dash one dash resignation typed up my two weeks notice handbook said four weeks required but i refused to work for her longer than two weeks more oh wait they were serious about wanting four weeks notice? Let me laugh even harder. Deserved. Managers lucky you gave notice at all, assuming it's not legally required wherever you are. I used to work at a power plant. Very well trained employees. Several levels. The top level was a full 12 month training program. New Jerk becomes operations department manager and starts asking operators why there was nobody signing up for the top level class. Many reasons were given. Only one response though. If you don't want to move up, I don't need you in my department. Then he was shocked that he lost half his department over six months. New Jerk became plant manager a few years later. That power plant is now mothballed, when it should have been running till 2030 and beyond. Notice of resignation is voluntary. They can't require anything from you. Two weeks is customary. And what are they going to do? Replace you? And the malicious compliance was? Question mark. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.